that shout of victory erots the 2023 Market Impact Conference Series 1, a platform courtesy Jesus Word Changes Apostolic Mission with the theme Kingdom Lifestyle in Your Place of Assignments. The convener and senior pastor of Jesus Word Changers Apostolic Church kicks off with a charge that gave rise to the movement. The first answer as to how to make the kingdom come in a place of assignment is the combination of concern for the people and to be conscious of God concerning us. If God is not in it, you get that job you are. The lineup of speakers and topics for discussion suggest the direction of the program. First to speak is Mr. Cosmos Maduka, Chairman, Koscharis Group. He decries the surge in parental delinquency and the absence of character and integrity in today's society. Character are real. That's why a person with character does not live with what is popular. They live with what is principle. This is why it is difficult for most politicians to have character. Because politics is based on popularity, which means you have to literally sacrifice your principle to protect your popularity, which cancels your character. Next is a former deputy governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria and chairman Titan Trust Bank, Tunde Lemo who hops on managing financial matters in the marketplace. I'm going to talk to you about a few scandals in the industry in which I belong. And then when you look around you and you see the people who are at the center of it, you begin to ask yourself, why not judging? Maybe things should have been done differently if indeed they stood on, on the side of integrity. The vice chancellor of Unilag, Professor Folasha de Ugunshola, addresses issues bordering on Christian ethics, education, and administrative demands. I would like to leave us with the words of the song. It, it was taught to me by my father. It says, When thy others urged to tread a path you should not go, let them blame you if they will, but firmly answer no. On his part, Pastor Sage Izeyamu, a governorship aspirant in Edo State, speaks on the role of Christians in politics and leadership positions, highlighting how Christians have always influenced government decisions throughout history. No country can be great if the people are indifferent to those in political leadership. Today, our children are leaving Nigeria in groups. Foreign embassies are making so much money collecting visa fees. And many churches are actually praying for their congregation <laughs> to be able to get visas to Japan. We have neglected the role of shepherds. With the charges done, prayers are offered for the people and the nation. Father, we just want to say thank you. It's been a great day. While everyone seems recharged for the assignments ahead, the conveners share their parting shots. Like we, they keep saying, the people who say, you be the sword, you be the light. That is what is expected from us. I believe if Christians take their place, there will be massive reduction of corruption in Nigeria. As you are taught in church, and as you behave in church, go to the marketplace. The marketplace being your office, where you trade, where you live, whether you are a housewife, everything that God has assigned you to do, do it on Christian principles. Nation building is everyone's responsibility, irrespective of religious affiliations. It, however, requires some level of intentionality. The hope is that every little seed sown here is remembered by history.